I'm Martina Barnevik Olsson, child psychiatrist and PhD student from Ilberg Neuropsychiatry Center in Gothenburg, Sweden. Data from a naturalistic intervention study has previously been presented, including around 200 preschool children with autism spectrum disorder referred to a specialized autism center. After a two-year follow-up, one subgroup of 17 did not fully meet criteria for ASD, but had autistic traits. The aims of this study were to perform a second follow-up at young school age to assess current profiles and analyze those that might again meet criteria for ASD. So when the children were around 10 years of age, parents were asked regarding the child's daily functioning, school situation and need of support. They were also interviewed using the Vineland Adaptive Behavior Scales and the ATAC, Autism, Tics, ADHD and Other Comorbidities Telephone Interview. The results showed that the vast majority of the children had moderate to severe problems with attention and activity regulation, speech and language, and or social interaction. A majority had declined in their Vineland scores. According to the ATAC interview, four children, or 29%, had symptom levels corresponding to a clinical diagnosis of ASD, ADHD, or both. Another seven children, or 50%, had pronounced subthreshold indicators of ASD, ADHD, or both. In conclusion, children diagnosed at preschool age as suffering from ASD and who, after appropriate intervention for two years, no longer met diagnostic criteria for ASD, clearly would have needed to be followed up longer. Four years later, they still had major problems diagnosable under the umbrella term of essence, early symptomatic syndromes eliciting neurodevelopmental clinical examinations. The children continue to be in need of support and, according to parental interviews, a substantial minority again met criteria for autism spectrum disorder. <laughs>